everybody's confused by these damn rings. I mean, Bruce, yeah. the Hulk was looking at them like. Even uh, Captain Marvel was like, yeah, I gotta go, but I don't know what the hell this is. Bro, oh my god, bro, she pisses me off, bro. Like, ah! <laughs> and we're not gonna talk about Captain Marvel. We're not gonna talk yeah. about her. We're lost looking for Chinatown one oh, night. Yeah. We couldn't find it. Um, and we stumbled past two bars on the side. You know, we were just walking down the street. We were, we were pretty young at this point, but uh, we were like, all right, we gotta turn around, you know. I, we, my friend Ethan, we thought we saw some chi uh, some Chinese writing on a on a building. He's like, it's this way, it's this way. He had no clue where we were. My man said, I told my men, have. I told my men, they could not kill you, even if they tried. Glad to know I was right. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga. So it's actually pretty damn long, Tim. It says, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. For the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Damn. That's it's deep. deep. Whenever it's in the risky task, text. You know, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> Right before I put that shit in. <laughs> when she says I don't got any cons. I must not fear. Fear is a mind killer. <laughs> but it's just like her just leaving in the middle of them having an important ass discussion, but she's just like a dip, sorry. Like it's every single like I just feel like her whole character can be summed up in sorry, I can't help you guys. Like <laughs> I feel like that's every time she shows up on screen it's for like ten minutes and the next thing that comes out of her mouth is like I got I I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got woman. more important stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know who she reminds me of, you said? Who? But uh, we started walking back, and uh, some guy stopped us, and he, he started pointing at me. He's like, I don't know, you call, started going to me Jimmy or something. He's like, Jimmy, Jimmy, come here. Come here, come here, Jimmy. I'm uh, <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, he starts spitting to us. He starts so saying all these jokes. I couldn't tell you what the jokes were. He said, why do black... Wait, so like, he was a black guy with like... A crazy head, right? He's clearly a crackhead. He goes, why do black people walk like this? And we were like, we don't know why. He goes, because they're tired of walking like this. He did like a gorilla walk because like he's seemingly that we used to be monkeys, right? My I period, you know when she says, when she says, uh, my period is late. I must not fear. Fear is the mic. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna become irrelevant. Like PewDiePie, for example, he's a beautiful example of this. He has rebranded himself, I think, like I don't know, seven times now. He's changed from horror games and gaming to um, and what he's done. Uh, he's done a whole bunch of different stuff. What a fucking nigger! Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck! I can't even put my finger. Um, Marvel, cast me the next Black Panther, or else you're racist. Now we wait. You'd be a good live action Miles Morales, maybe. Yo, Marvel. Marvel, make me Miles Morales. Please, <laughs> please, please. Seriously. Yo, let me be Miles Morales. Bro, I'll be in that bitch. He asks us one final question What was the best type of nation? Then he takes off his hat and he says, a donation. A donation. Yeah. <laughs> and though, what did his head look like, bro? Describe his head. That shit looked like the crystal of motherfucking skull, bro. <laughs> that shit need to be put back on that motherfucking skeleton and taken back to space. That was horrible. He stole that shit and he never gave it back. <laughs> That's horrible, bro. Wait, so did you guys give him a donation? Fuck Hell no. no. Bro, I told him, I told him, I, I told him I had no cash on me. No, and damn well I had $10 in cash in my wallet, which I used to train. Said, bro. Oh, I used to have $10. Okay, bro, I'm not about to give this man no, bro, because I'm not about to give this man no money telling me these whack ass jokes, bro. Like, what are you talking about? You come in and smell like cat piss. His, like, got oversized baggy jeans. He had more was... money than you. He didn't have more money than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Then he, what was he asking me for money for? He had more yeah, money than you for. He go get me. He's Okay, bro. So I had nothing to get to him. Like I don't know what you're trying to say. Like, <laughs> but this man was wearing baggy jeans, like he was still living in the early 2000s, dog. Like his nickname uh, or his comedian name, I don't know. Is it was Dirty Dick? Dirty That's Dick. what he went by. What? Dirty Dick. Yeah. Proudly went by that name too. It was Very big. proudly. Yeah. <laughs> I almost, I almost wondered to myself, is how did he get that nickname? Yeah. That. That's a. But, that'd be a. That'd be a story. No. Cap. Talking about. Strangest story that happened to you. I Maybe you guys should go back that. into Philly and uh, try and find this guy. You not gonna happen. Yeah. He might not even be alive. We don't know.